Hi guys, welcome to a new uh, i14-2 front wheel drive video. Um, today I would like to show you an uh, option which is available um, with existing parts from Infinity. Um, so if you remember from the i14-2 touring car, uh, we have this aluminium uh, upper arm um, um, uh, piece, aluminium piece, which you can adjust the height of the uh, turnbuckle, the upper links, the turnbuckle. So in the rear, as standard on the um, i14-2 FWD car, uh, this inside position of the camber link in the rear is uh, fixed. You see here in the rear, it's fixed on the shock tower. Uh, this was designed to save weight and uh, uh, reduce the number of parts in the car and for more easy uh, assembly. Uh, yeah, but if if you like, you can you can use the aluminium um, upper arm mount from Infinity. This is the same mount from the i14-2 touring car. So, with this mount, it's the same mount as we have in the front. You can adjust uh, or attach this mount in the rear. And then you have the inside position adjustable again. So, yeah, some of you um, may like to adjust this position because the change of uh, uh, camber angle. So um, yeah, it's um, you basically take the aluminium mount, just attach with the two screws, uh, and there you have a adjustable inside position of your camber links in the rear. So yeah, this might be something you want to try out. Um, for me, I've been running the, the car as standard so far and uh, yeah, it's been working very great. So I'm looking forward uh, to test this uh, uh, option to see if we can gain uh, some more performance of the front wheel drive car. Yeah, that's another um, option for you to uh, try out. I uh, hope you liked the video and uh, please check out Infinity website or contact your local dealer for more Infinity information and products. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time.